told me before we started, you got a message for these younger, up-and-coming fighters at 147. What's that message? Man, Keith One Time Thurman is not the gatekeeper, okay? And if you want to act like I'm a gatekeeper, then you need to understand that that gate is welded shut, boy. And I will school you just like I schooled Mario Barrios. I'm not those past opponents. I'm a veteran. I'm a fine wine. You can only get me at, at certain high-level restaurants, baby. This is not McDonald's. What's going on, guys? This is your boy, CMB. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and let's get into this one really quickly. Now, guys, uh, that was Keith One Time Thurman being interviewed by Brian Custer uh, this past weekend at the Omar Figueroa Jr. Sergey Lipinets fight. Uh, shout out to Sergey Lipinets uh, for getting the big win and getting his career back on track. Now, you guys know Keith Thurman is looking for a big fight. Uh, we've heard him talk about possibly fighting Danny Garcia, uh, Erislandi Laura, but the fight that he really wants is Errol the True Spence Jr. We know that. Uh, you guys know the history between those two. Uh, Errol Spence Jr., uh, back when he was trying to, you know, make a name for himself and Keith Thurman, you know, was a champion, he felt like Keith Thurman was ducking him, that he wouldn't give him an opportunity. Now that the tables are turned, uh, Errol Spence Jr. doesn't want to give Keith uh, Thurman an opportunity uh, he's even said that you know he's never going to fight that guy basically but here's the thing Terrence Bud Crawford and this Errol Spence Jr. fight we've been waiting on bated breath for this fight uh, to take place we thought once uh, Terrence Crawford left top rank and became the hottest free agent that this fight would be easily made but that doesn't seem to be the case uh Probably just stemming from finance, financial issues uh, between the camps, uh, between the platform. If it doesn't make sense to, you know, all parties involved, it's, it's just not going to happen. So we've heard, uh, we know October is out of there because of the fact that Deontay Wilder's returning this October. So there can't be anything in October. They wouldn't even really have any time to train. We have, uh, we've heard November the 12th and the 19th. But since then, it's been pretty much radio silent on both ends uh, when it comes to this, to this super fight. So we have to start looking at options. Uh, and there's two options, I think, for Errol Spence Jr. Uh, option number one would be Keith One Time Thurman, who is ranked number one at the WBC. Option number two is the uh, Gerard Boos Ennis, who's ranked number one at the uh, ranked number one with, I, with the IBF. So he has two fighters ranked number one, uh, two mandatory opportunities. He could, those guys he could fight if he can't get this uh, Terrence Bud Crawford fight. I'm just thinking that this fight's not going to happen this year. If it does, you know, I'll be happy, but I'll be surprised if it does the way things seem to be shaping up uh, with this fight. But, uh, Honestly, guys, I think I, I think Errol should go ahead and give Keith Thurman the opportunity uh, if this fight doesn't take place. I know he doesn't want to do it because he really despises Keith Thurman, but it's still a good fight and it's still a business. And this fight will make money. Uh, Keith Thurman, you know, I, I know a lot of people, you know, don't like Keith Thurman. Uh, they think he's washed. But to be honest, guys, Keith Thurman's only lost one fight. Uh, he, he lost to Manny Pacquiao. He's, he's 30 and one and, you know, he's, he's been an active, you know, he hasn't been an active fighter, uh, due to injuries. And, and I would say, uh, probably, you know, losing his hunger a little bit, but he's still a damn good fighter in my opinion. And I think that still would be a solid fight between him, him and Errol True Spence Jr. Uh, so I would love to see that fight. Then if, if he didn't go that route, of course, like I said, he has the other option with Jerron Boos Ennis, which is a dangerous fight for Errol Spence Jr., uh, in my opinion. Uh, I think he would win that fight, uh, but I, I think it's a dangerous fight uh, being that, you know, Jerron Boos Ennis, uh, not only being a switch hitter, he's a he's a bigger guy, a uh, strong, powerful guy, very athletic, uh, but he does have his flaws. You know, I, I've seen some of his flaws in the ring that Errol can exploit. But I think, I think that fight would be, I, I think that would be a good fight. But I don't think it would make 
as much money as him versus Keith Thurman. Since Keith Thurman is a name uh, compared to Jerron Boost Ennis. I think Jerron Boost Ennis is making his way up. Uh, but Keith Thurman would definitely uh, put butts in the seats. Keith Thurman versus Errol the True Spence Jr. That, that's a pay-per-view fight in my opinion. But uh, I could be wrong, you know, but I, that's what I feel. I, I think Errol should just go ahead and give Keith the opportunity if this Terrence Bud Crawford fight falls through. I mean, who else is he going to fight, you know, besides those two guys at 147? And he needs to stay active. Uh, you know he likes to stay active. He doesn't like to take... He doesn't like to take tune-up fights. So this these two fights would be uh, a perfect opportunity, uh, you know, for him to stay sharp before moving up to 154 or possibly, you know, getting the Terrence Bud Crawford fight maybe sometime next year. But we'll just have to wait and see, guys. I, I, I know this, this boxing stuff, man, gets you really, really... Uh, it gets me upset because it seems like we can't get the fights that we want. And I, I know a lot of you guys out there are just like, you know, you, you've had it with it. You know, you, you're washing your hands of it. But let's just continue to wait and see what happens and let this play out, guys. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Uh, if Errol the True Spence Jr. should go ahead and face Keith one time Thurman if this fight falls through. Or would you rather see him face Jerron Boots Ennis? Let me know, guys, in the comment section. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.